In today's video, we will discuss the 15 best thriller movies of 2016. Before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Plague exists, you know what government could do to get it. The professor has become a liability. Go, go, let's get him. <laughs> At number 15, we have Inferno, directed by Ron Howard. The film is a fast-paced mystery thriller that follows Robert Langdon, a Harvard symbologist, as he races against time to stop a global pandemic. Landon wakes up in a hospital in Florence with amnesia and teams up with a doctor to decipher a trail of clues tied to Dandy's Inferno. As they unravel a conspiracy, they discover a plot to unleash a deadly virus that could wipe out half of the world's population. I have no memory of taking that mask. You did? I just saw you. I want to know what I'm involved with. Why was someone shooting at you? The narrative takes the audience on a high-stakes chase through historical landmarks, combining puzzle solving with a sense of urgency. The girl on the train. How could you be so I'm not the girl I used to be. At number 14, we have The Girl on the Train, directed by Tate Taylor. The film is a gripping psychological thriller that revolves around the intertwined lives of three women. The central character, Rachel, observes a seemingly perfect couple from her daily train commute, creating a fictional narrative for their lives. However, when the woman from this couple goes missing, Rachel becomes entangled in a complex web of deceit and mystery as she tries to uncover the truth. You were seen in the area that night. How could you be so the narrative takes unexpected turns, blurring the lines between reality and imagination. Brimstone. It's a sin. I love him! You not. It is. At number 13, we have Brimstone, directed by Martin Coolhaven. This gripping western thriller unfolds in a harrowing tale of survival and revenge. Liz, a mute midwife, finds her life shattered when she crosses paths with a mysterious and menacing preacher. The narrative unfolds in nonlinear fashion, revealing a dark and twisted history that binds the two characters. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing. As the preacher's malevolent influence grows, Liz is forced to confront her past and fight for her freedom against a relentless adversary. Allied. Don't matter where I am. At number 12, we have Allied, directed by Robert Zemeckis. The film is a wartime romantic thriller set during World War II, following intelligence officer Max Vaden and French resistance fighter Marianne Beaujour. The two undercover agents pose as a married couple in Casablanca to carry out a high-stakes mission against the German forces, as they navigate the challenges of war and deception. Come with me to London. Come with me and be my wife. Their simulated relationship deepens into a genuine love affair. However, suspicions arise regarding Mary Ann's true identity, leading Max to undertake a perilous investigation that tests the boundaries of trust and loyalty. Deepwater Horizon At number 11, we have Deepwater Horizon, directed by Peter Berg. This intense disaster film recounts the real-life events of the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil rig explosion in the Gulf of Mexico. The story unfolds as the crew, including electrician Mike Williams, faces mounting technical issues and safety concerns while drilling. The catastrophic blowout results in a devastating explosion and fire on the rig, putting the lives of everyone on board in peril. Get in there. They crammed down the straw. Pulled the monsters down, we build them a new one. As chaos ensues, the film chronicles the heroic efforts of the crew to survive and escape the rapidly deteriorating situation. Deepwater Horizon is a gripping and visceral portrayal of a catastrophic industrial disaster. Imperium For evil to triumph, it takes good men. At number 10, we have Imperium, directed by Daniel Ragusis. Inspired by real events, the film follows Nate Foster, portrayed by Daniel Radcliffe, 
a young and idealistic FBI agent tasked with infiltrating a radical right-wing terrorist group. Foster must grapple with the challenge of adopting a new identity while staying true to his core principles. Get your hands off me. Doesn't mean it's not there. You okay there, Nate? Look a little off. Shedding light on the complexities of undercover work and the moral dilemmas faced by those working to dismantle extremist ideologies. In the spirit of films from the Cold War era, Imperium provides a riveting and thought-provoking experience, offering a glimpse into the world of domestic counterterrorism. The Accountant At number 9, we have The Accountant, directed by Gavin O'Connor. The film follows Christian Wolff, a high-functioning autistic savant with exceptional mathematical abilities. Wolf works as a forensic accountant for dangerous criminal organizations, uncooking their books and exposing financial discrepancies. As he takes on a legitimate client, a robotics company, Wolf uncovers a vast conspiracy that puts his life at risk. Say you're the head of the Sinaloa cartel. The narrative seamlessly weaves between intense action sequences and the exploration of Wolf's complex character, shedding light on his unique skills and personal challenges. Snowden We are running out of time. They're gonna come for At number 8, we have Snowden, directed by Oliver Stone. The film tells the true story of Edward Snowden, a former National Security Agency NSA, contractor who leaked classified documents revealing the extensive global surveillance programs conducted by the U.S. government. Snowden's journey unfolds as he grapples with his evolving beliefs about government surveillance and the impact on individual privacy. I don't know anybody else that can. Everything I have, they're going to figure out what I've done. Did you access an unknown? The narrative explores his motivations, the ethical dilemmas he faces, and the consequences of his actions. How many of you are there? <laughs> Man, all right, just let me go! <laughs> Don't Breathe, at number seven, we have the movie Don't Breathe. The film centers on a group of young burglars who decide to rob a blind man, assuming it'll be an easy heist. However, once inside the man's house, they quickly realize that he's not as defenseless as they thought. What begins as a straightforward robbery escalates into a chilling game of survival. As the tables turn and the blind man becomes a formidable and terrifying adversary in his own home, turning the entire situation into a pulse-pounding battle for life. Eye in the Sky Visual. We need a decision. Ready. Right now. Three. Go! Two. Wait. At number six, we have Eye in the Sky, directed by Gavin Hood. The film unfolds as a high-stakes military and ethical drama centered around a joint operation to capture terrorists in Kenya. When the mission unexpectedly shifts to a targeted drone strike, the commanding officers, politicians, and legal advisors grapple with the moral implications of collateral damage, especially involving a young girl in the strike zone. Lives are at stake if these men leave. We need to put a hellfire through that roof right now. Weapon is armed. What's that? The narrative meticulously explores the decision-making process, ethical considerations, and the interconnectedness of modern warfare and technology. Miss Sloan. This is more important than my career. You have to make it personal. They will throw you in jail for contempt of Congress! There's over five million of us, and we're armed. At number five, we have Miss Sloan, directed by John Madden. The film revolves around Elizabeth Sloan, a high-powered and ambitious lobbyist in Washington, D.C. Known for her cunning strategies, Sloan takes on the formidable task of advocating for gun control legislation. As she navigates the cutthroat world of politics, she faces personal and professional challenges that force her to question her values and ethics. The narrative unfolds as Sloan engages in a high-stakes game of manipulation, alliances, and betrayal to achieve her goals. You know the word annihilate? It means reduced to nothing. Important than my career. It was mind-boggling. You crossed the line. A genius. Miss Sloan offers a gripping portrayal of the intense and often ruthless world of political lobbying, where principles collide with the pursuit of power and influence. 
nocturnal animals. It's fun to kill people. We should try it sometime. <laughs> At number four, we have Nocturnal Animals, directed by Tom Ford. The film unfolds as a psychological thriller and a hunting tale within a tale. Susan Morrow, an art gallery owner, receives a manuscript from her ex-husband, Edward. I really wanted to be this person that you thought I was. Titled Nocturnal Animals, as Susan reads the novel, the narrative seamlessly weaves between the story of a family terrorized on a desolate highway and Susan's own reflections on her past and the choices that led to the end of her marriage. L. Tu pirates les ordinateurs perso de tous les employés. C'est grave comme infraction. Tu mets ton nez dans les affaires des autres. Tu tombes sur les trucs pas nets, hein. At number three, we have L, directed by Paul Verhoeven. The film is a provocative and psychologically complex thriller centered around Michelle LeBlanc, a successful businesswoman who becomes the victim of a violent sexual assault in her own home. Instead of reporting the incident to the police, Michelle takes a different path, setting off a series of unpredictable events. The narrative delves into Michelle's unconventional reactions and her relationships with those around her, revealing layers of trauma, power dynamics, and unexpected twists. <laughs> Elle challenges traditional notions of victimhood, offering a unique and bold exploration of the complexities of human behavior and resilience in the face of trauma. Hell or high water. Love you, Toby. Mean it. I love you too. At number two, we have Hell or High Water, directed by David McKenzie. The film unfolds as a gripping modern-day western heist thriller set against the backdrop of economic decline in rural Texas. Two brothers, Toby and Tanner Howard, embark on a series of bank robberies to save their family's ranch from foreclosure. Hot on their trail is Marcus Hamilton, a soon-to-be-retired Texas Ranger. The narrative skillfully weaves between the perspectives of the desperate brothers and the determined lawman. They're trying to raise a certain amount, that's my guess. Let's go! Go on, go on! Exploring themes of family, justice, and the consequences of economic hardship. Arrival. It's more complicated than that. How is it more complicated? Russia just executed one of their own to keep their secret. Got 21 hours before they start global war. So how do we... At number one, we have Arrival, directed by Denis Villeneuve. The film is a thought-provoking science fiction drama centered around linguistics professor Louise Banks who is recruited to help communicate with extraterrestrial visitors that have landed on Earth. As nations around the world teeter on the brink of global conflict, Louise races against time to decipher the aliens' complex language and unravel the purpose of their visit. They need to see me. Dr. Bank? Are you insane? The narrative skillfully navigates between the emotional journey of Louise, who grapples with personal loss, and the high-stakes diplomatic and scientific efforts to understand the alien species. That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.